Six specific belief systems. Six beliefs of what I call change utilization success. I'm going to start with number one, when Angela pulls out the hook, and I'm going to stop. We won't get through all six of them here. But let's talk about belief number one. Belief number one is this. People that really harness the power of change, they believe that change creates... Well, let's set this one up this way. Let's say that we are all work for one corporation, and the CEO of the corporation calls everybody together on Tuesday morning, and nobody's for sure why you're in this big room. And the CEO of the corporation gets up on stage and says, good morning, everybody. We just had an emergency meeting of the board of directors last week, and I'm here today to announce to you a new round of big, huge, gigantic changes we're going to make in this company beginning next quarter. I'll be back after lunch <laughs> to tell you what these big, huge changes are going to be. Have a nice morning. Okay, and walks off the stage. Now, what are you thinking here? What's going through your head? Don't be politically correct. What's, what are you thinking? Uh-oh, right? Get the resume out, dust it out, right? Positive things or negative things? What do you think? Negative. negative. That's kind of how we're wired up, isn't it? What would happen if after lunch, CEO gets back and says, I'm back. You know those big, huge, gigantic changes I was talking about? Beginning next quarter, we're going to change the style and color of our logo. Thank you very much. Okay, and walks off the stage. What are you thinking now? Woo, right? People's reaction, it's probably natural, isn't it? When something happens, something changes, we get a little bit defensive. Our body gets a little cold, what do we do? We shiver and warm up, right? Get a little hot, you pull it down by sweating. We always have this homeostasis. But people that really thrive on change, they think that changing times creates, what's the word? Opportunities. There are opportunities out there in any kind of a change. Over the half of the companies in the Fortune 500 list got started during a depression or a recession. Over half of them. Lots of opportunities no matter what's going on out there. So the next time a change happens in your business, in your association, in your family, you're going to think, what are the opportunities? There's some opportunities here. Belief number two, very foundational, very important, very basic. That is when things change. When things change out there, we've got to change some things in here. Now, we're not going to change our principles. We're not going to go against our core values. We're going to have to believe a little bit differently and change our strategies. Easy to say, harder to pull off in the real world, isn't it? Let me give you an example of this. Who, in a second here, I'm going to give you the opportunity to answer a question. And if you answer the question correctly, everyone's going to know your level of true intelligence. If you answer the question incorrectly, everybody's going to know how smart you are. Okay? Who wants to answer the question? Who wants to answer the question? There we go, one man. Okay? And your name, sir? Jim? Okay, Jim. And, Jim, here is the question, and nobody help Jim out. All right? Here's the question, Jim. What is the capital of the country of Malaysia? The other part of the country? Malaysia's off the map now, so it's the other part of that country. Oh, it's off the map? Yeah, we, oh, yeah. we had to get rid of it. We had to get rid of it, okay. Remember the capital of it. I got it. Glad I asked you here, Jim. <laughs> this is great, okay. Did you, you don't know the capital? I don't know. Okay, it's six million people, huge uh, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, okay? Okay, what is the capital of the country of Mexico? Mexico City. Give the man a hand. Give the man a hand. Excellent, Jim. Very good. Jim, you get five bucks. You get it, okay? Now, this is a free gig, so he gets five bucks. If it was paying, I'd give him 20. So we got to you know, <laughs> kind of balance things out here, right? Okay. Now, he's got the money, and you don't. Why does he have the money, and you don't? He took the chance. Hmm. How many of you found it was easier to not raise your hand? 
Let me see. Yeah, raise your hand if you found it easier not to raise your hand. Okay, <laughs> right. So it, was, so it was easier to stay in your nice little what? Comfort zone. There you go. You stay in the comfort zone. It's easy. I don't have to raise my hand. Can't make any mistakes out there. Even though things are changing out there, I don't want to change some things in here. See what I mean? When things change, you've got to change. There are two basic principles when it comes to harnessing the power of change. You might even want to write these down. Number one, that in changing times, there's a set of principles and core values that you never want to change. Changing times. You want to be extremely rigid when it comes to these principles and core values. You tell me, just shout them out. What are some basic principles and core values that should never change in your life, in your family, in your business, in your association, no matter what changes out there? Just shout it out. Honesty. What else? Loyalty. Excellent. What else? Integrity. Doing what you're saying you're going to do, right? Incidentally, those values you just mentioned are stereotypical whose values? Iowa's values, aren't they? I grew up in Harlan. So I grew up in, you know, in Iowa. I live in Las Vegas now. You know, last month, Forbes magazine, did you see that? They picked out the one best metro area to have a business and or, yes, the Des Moines people back there, and or to build your career. And the one number one was Des Moines, right? I bet if they would have picked a state, I bet they would have picked Iowa. Why is that? A lot of it just has to do with those core values. 92% graduation rate. I live in Las Vegas. You know what the graduation rate is there? 47%. You know, we get a little spoiled around here, but it's those core values that you got to stick with. You're a leader in any organization. One of the first rules of leadership is decide what's important and then talk about that over and over and over again. And a lot of those things you're going to be talking about are these core values. Zappos, we just had a shoe demonstration up here. Everybody knows Zappos, correct, uh, lady? Zappos makes shoes, or they sell shoes. Don't think you can get almost any shoe. Billion dollars a year. Rapidly growing company. Amazon bought them about three years ago. They have 10 core values that they hammer home with their people. You go to work for Zappos.com. A day and a half, all they do is talk about values, and they have people coming in from throughout the company telling stories about these values are so important. On the back of their name tags are the 10 values. At the end of that day and a half, they will come to you and say, I hope you love you know, your day and a half with us. I hope you like these values. But if you don't, we'll give you $2,000 to leave. They'll pay them $2,000 to leave after a year and a half, or a year and a half, a day and a half, right? Do you think that's well, my money well spent? What do you think? Why? Because they get rid of the people who don't match their values. And you get a whole bunch of people together that have values in common. Now you have a culture. Isn't that interesting? But most people try to fit all these disparate you know, personalities into the culture. You know, hire those kind of people in the first place. Principles, core values. Now, the second sentence you want to think about when it comes to harnessing the power of change is that in changing times, the same set of beliefs and strategies that have gotten you to where you are now will not get you to where you want to go. So you got to be flexible when it comes to your beliefs and your, and your strategies. When I go into corporations, we always talk about beliefs first. Then I'll get a lot of information about their business their industry, and then we'll help them put together some excellent strategies to harness the power of change. 